So with the announcement of Quarter Century Bonanza and the 2024 Megatons coming out soon, we know that there is going to be a lot of Quarter Century Rare Yu-Gi-Oh cards coming out very soon. And we can only assume that it's going to be the very last wave of Quarter Century Rares as 2024 is coming to an end. And there's going to be like over 250 different QCRs printed within the next couple months. So in today's video, we're going to break down what cards you are going to see coming up in both the Megatons as well as Rarity Bonanza or Quarter Century Bonanza. So whatever you guys want to call it there's going to be a lot of them it's going to be mixed between nostalgia new meta fun everything you guys are going to see it in these sets and uh, i'm going to break down a ton of different cards big shout out to the friends mateo richard alpha these guys were on discord with me kind of putting together a list now this is not all 250 cards but there is a lot of cards to discuss so with that being said let's get right into the video and i'm going to be showing you guys what cards i'm guaranteeing almost like i'm very certain are going to be coming out in both quarter century bonanza as well as the megatains in the qcr rarity let's go all right, so just before we get into today's video, I kind of want to go over the Quarter Century Bonanza, the Dueling Tin Mirrors, whatever they want to call the 25th Anniversary 2024 Mega Pack. Essentially, that's what it is, right? And I want to go over these just a little bit. I won't go too much in depth. I know you guys have probably seen tons of videos about these, but I want to kind of explain some of the word choices that they used when announcing these sets, because that's going to play a factor into the cards that I'm showing you guys and I'm choosing that I think are almost guaranteed to be QCRs in these upcoming sets. Again, it could be one or the other. I'm not saying they're going to come 100% Bonanza or 100% in the anniversary tins. Could be one or the other, right? All right. So the thing that I specifically want to point out with these uh, two sets over here, for Bonanza over here, it says there is going to be a special and separate 200 card nostalgia pool okay nostalgia pool is very important that is available only in luxury secret rare for anyone who doesn't know what a luxury secret rare is it's either the platinum secret rare or the quarter century rare right so it's either from the 200 card nostalgia pool or the standard 75 card set so a 78 or did i say 75 i meant 78 so 78 this is like ready collection one or ready collection two they are both i think 78 or 79 card sets whatever it is and uh every card can come in every rarity so this i think works in the exact same way except it's not a 79 card set or a 78 card set it's 278 the main set is 78 200 special cards coming from us nostalgia pool and that is really important to know because what does nostalgia mean does it mean all the way from dual monsters or gx or zexel or just anime cards or meta relevant cards in the past we're talking stuff like edison format hat format we're talking goat format all of these different things that might not necessarily be nostalgia from the anime but it might be nostalgia from the actual tcg within the last 25 years or so right because we've had a long history in this game there's so many nostalgic cards so that's one thing i wanted to point out here as well and of course like you guys all know i think you guys have probably seen this before anything that already comes as a qcr will not be reprinted as a qcr so i want to make that clear the reason i say that is because there are cards that i thought could fit into here but because they already have qcr rarities it would never happen right so that also plays a factor into the cards that i chose that are cards that i think are going to be qcrs now upcoming next is the 25th anniversary dueling mirrors tin now the dueling mirrors tin is very interesting because it's it's not your typical Megaton. Typically, Megatons reprint the last few sets uh, within the last year or so, and you're going to be expecting a lot of those. Now, this one does that, but it does a little bit more. So I'm going to talk about this just a little bit. The first thing that I want to talk about is uh, each Mega Pack has a QCR. Which is actually really nice because you're going to be able to get a lot of qcrs per tin or per case i guess i do want to say that this card has all of these sets like i was talking about and it's a 400 total card set list however there's only 50 cards that come as quarter century rares out of the 400 cards only 50 of them come as qcr however it doesn't actually state that the 50 cards in here are going to be part of the 400 card set let me explain. For, in fact, actually, it says 16 cards shown on the sides of the tin, more about those later, will be uh, printed as QCRs. So out of the 50, 16 of them, we can assume, are going to be printed on the tin. Now, what does that mean? If you guys saw the 2023 tins, all of these cards over here, Dark Magician, Exodia, Red Eyes, these all came as promos in the Mega Tin, and uh, they were all QCR rarity. So I'm going to assume it's going to be the same way with this one, where they're going to probably have on the side of the tin, I've done a bunch of Ace Monsters, a bunch of Rival Ace Monsters, maybe be some nostalgic cards i don't know exactly what they want to do but 16 of them are going to be in the qcr rarity which means there's 34 more cards added to the qcr pool now where is that pool coming from 
Is it coming from the 400 cards in the set? Is it coming from outside of the 400 cards in the set? We don't really know. And then on top of that, it does confirm we're getting the Red Eyes, Dark Magician Girl, Harpies, and Raigeki as alternate arts. But are these also going to be included as QCR? Are they going to be part of the 16 cards? So for that reason, I'm just kind of breaking this down because I'm going to be telling you guys right now, I'm not going to be including these cards over here as QCRs. I'm going to assume that they are confirming these are QCRs, even though they're technically not. I'm going to make that assumption. All right. Cool. Now that we got that out of the way, we can actually go into the cards that I believe are going to come in a QCR rarity. Now, these are only 90 cards. Like I said, it could be 278 from Bonanza and 50 from the tins, which is about 320 ish total QCRs that we're going to be getting within these two packs. Of course, I'm going to be showing you guys 90 of them here. There's probably going to be a ton of ones that no one's going to think about, just maybe ones that people don't even care about. These are cards that I really genuinely believe are going to be QCRs. All right, let's start things off here with the right arm of the Forbidden One. It's not just going to be the right arm, it's going to be all the pieces. I just wanted to show off the right one. There's a lot of cards to go through, by the way, so I'm going to be kind of fast. I'm not going to go super much in detail, but all of the Exodia pieces. The head got a QCR in the last year's Megaton. Millennium just came out. Millennium, of course, we all know plays the Forbidden One cards. Definitely can see this getting QCR. Same reason for Ubel. Ubel just got a lot of support. One of the best decks in the game right now. OG Ubel is definitely a very good contender for a QCR. What's another deck that got support recently? Ancient Gears. Now, Ancient Gear Golem, definitely could see that being a QCR as well. Again, it's like one of the rival ace monsters, so I could definitely see that being here as well. It's also a nostalgic piece. This is a nostalgic piece. This is a nostalgic piece. So it fits within the nostalgia, and it fits within today's meta, which is actually crazy, and that's why I think these cards are going to be some of the most important QCRs that are going to be printed. But we have Light and Darkness Dragon. We all know this card was very relevant in past formats. can be relevant again today because it just got support. So same thing. It fits with all of these cards. Old school card iconic card getting support in today's format absolutely insane so light and darkness dragon i think this card is guaranteed to be a qcr now this card over here kaiju now it doesn't have to be gamma seal it could be any of the kaijus i personally think it's gamma seal because that is the most iconic kaiju i think kaijus can be uh, getting a lot of qcrs in the whether it's this one or more than just one it could be slumber could be any of the other names and the reason i say that is because they were important in the past with in terms of you know Yu-Gi-Oh meta play not just today but in the past as well and on top of that we did get cards like lava golem and sphere mode and a ton of the board breakers as qcr in the past i could definitely see a kaiju this card nostalgia they said nostalgia well was one of the most iconic cards in the game's history changed the battle phase completely so gores i can see getting a qcr panker tops of course we know how prominent this card was in its day as well the kashira cards now these cards i'm gonna be honest i'm a little bit less confident about these cards getting a qcr rarity however that's just a little bit biased because i love the kashira cards and i definitely think these two cards deserve a qcr rarity so this one is more just me praying than i think uh, guaranteeing but i really like these cards i think they can get qcr rarities the strudo very iconic card as well was on the ban list like you guys can see like these cards in the past that were so powerful got on the ban list of course today they're off the ban list but you know the panker tops use a strudo very very powerful cards definitely can see the qcr rarities another really iconic card now these are more recent so it's less likely however i think these are going to happen the bestials so whether it's Druus worm magna moot sarnir ball drake um i don't think it's gonna be lubelion lubelion does have a qcr print so it can't be that one but uh these ones over here i could definitely see getting qcr at least magna but could be Druus and magna right so these cards could definitely be good candidates for qcrs jinzo iconic card goat format Joey, like there is so much about this card that's iconic in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. I could definitely see this being a QCR. I could definitely being, see this actually being one of the promos in the Megaton where it's on the side of the uh, Megaton. I could definitely see that here as well. Vanity Fiend, Caius over here, Malicious, Ryo. These cards are all nostalgic cards that can be played in Edison format. Uh, of course, we know how powerful Malicious is in Edison in current format. So many different formats. Malicious is just so powerful, right? Same thing with Vanity Fiend. So they did mention, again, like I said, they did mention Nostalgia Pool. And I think these are part of the Nostalgia Pool, but for multiple reasons because they were meta at one point in the game's history, which means that they're nostalgic for that reason. Malicious is, of course, an anime card. There's just so much that comes with these cards. So I think these guys are going to be QCRs as well. That Goseka, another nostalgic card when it comes to the meta game in Yu-Gi-Oh! Now, these cards over here, the Rise Heart, Ryum Heart, uh, Rhino Heart, and the Rike Heart. These cards over here, I think, are going to become QCR, and I'm actually very confident in these ones, because in Rarity Collection 2, they did do all of the planets as QCRs. So why not finish the lore, make all of these guys over here as QCR? And you know what I just realized is not on here? Visa Star Frost. Visa Star Frost has a Starlight Rare, but it doesn't have a QCR rarity. So I think Visas could also be on top of these guys. Visas can definitely also be a QCR. Armageddon Knight. Again, 
iconic. So many different formats. You you can talk about the past. You can talk about even more recently. I remember Phantom Knights was really good at one point um, when they were playing uh, PK. What is it? PK Orcus. That was a thing. There's so many different PK builds that played uh, Armageddon Knight. Of course, iconic card in the history. But on top of that, Armageddon Knight was really good in Teledad. I'm pretty sure it was pretty good. And I'm trying to think of decks off the top of my head. But in the past, it's been so relevant. And that's why I think it's definitely going to get a QCR rarity. Do I have to explain this one? I don't think I have to explain this one. Alistair. Normal summon Alistair. Come on. That's literally iconic. It's a meme. This is going to be a QCR. All right, next. Gazelle. Gazelle, we all know how powerful this card was in its heyday. Uh, Salmon Grey it was a really good deck, and this is the best card in the deck, so I can definitely see this getting a QCR. I was between this and Sunlight Wolf, if I'm being honest with you, but Sunlight Wolf did get a Ghost Rare, which doesn't mean that it can't get a QCR. It just, uh, I think they would rather max out another card, like in terms of rarity. Um, Uni Zombie, of course, iconic in so many different ways, nostalgic in so many different ways. So many different decks throughout the history of the game has used this card, so this card is absolutely insane. We got Terra Top over here, again, an anime card, and the card that's... Um, Again, been on the ban list. It's a meta relevant card. It's coming in off. Like, it's really, really powerful. Graph, BAs. Now, it's not just going to have to be Graph. I know we got Dante, um, and I think we got Cherubini as well. I could definitely see Graph or Seer or one of those ones being QCR or multiple of them being QCRs because they are iconic in this game's history. So, I think the BAs are very, very uh, likely to get a QCR at least. Then the hand traps over here. Now, we did get Ash, we got Bell, we got Mourner. We got Ogre actually as well as QCRs. So why not get Dogwood and why not get Cherries? I could definitely see these two cards coming as QCR rarities just to match all of the other hand traps, like all the sister hand traps. They'll all be here, which is absolutely insane. Gamma as well is very relevant. And then Orange Eye as well. Iconic cards, historic cards, and cards that can be placed in the sets, whether it's the Megatons or the Bonanza, because they have relevancy in today's game. Allure of Darkness, now moving on to spells, is another one of the most iconic spells in the game's history, right? And we all know that. So Allure of Darkness, I could definitely see being a QCR instant fusion as well. This card is absolutely busted. Her has been busted for so long. Uh, so instant fusion one for one is another very iconic card as well. Theosis and Birth. I'm going to put them side by side over here. Theosis and Birth. Again, maybe this is a little bit cope. This is kind of like Unicorn and Fenrir. I really want these as QCRs. Trust me though, I'm going to skip past these because I'm going to get some flame in the comment section down below. But keep it, speaking of the comment section, if you guys see anything on here that was missing, or I guess if you guys don't see it on here and you think it's missing, let me know in the comment section down below. Again, it's going to be like over 300 cards total that are be coming out in QCR. So uh, I'm obviously not going to hit them all here. If there's any that you think shouldn't be a QCR that I have here, or if there's any that you think that I'm missing, let me know in the comment section down below because I think it's going to be cool just to hear people's thoughts and ideas, right? Dark Arm Dragon was one that I thought of, but it has a QCR. Actually, there's a lot of super polymerization as a QCR. There's so many iconic cards that already have QCRs. So I was trying to really play around those and see what, what's missing, right? Speaking of what's missing, Thrust. Thrust is a card that needs a reprint. And I could see it being in the tins. It doesn't have to necessarily be a QCR in the tins. But I feel like if they were picking out QCRs from main sets that didn't get QCRs, Thrust is definitely the way to go. This card is absolutely insane and meta-defining as well. Foolish Burial Goods. We got Fusion Destiny. We all know how powerful these cards are. Fusion Burial Goods, not as much. This is like in and out of formats, but it's really good when it is in formats. Pot of Ivorous, an iconic card. We also got so many of the other pot cards. We got Duality, we got Extravagance, we got Desires, we got Prosperity, all in QCR Rarity. The only one that we're missing is Greed, but because Greed is banned, I don't know if they'll reprint it. You could argue that maybe they'll print banned cards in here, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. But if they do, Greed could be a QCR in here, Avarice, I think, as well. Ground Zeno. This is also just a little bit of cope because uh, it is a dino card, hasn't got, you know, I mean, maybe it deserves a reprint now. We know that they are reprinting um, Wild Survivors in this, so because they are reprinting Wild Survivors, it's likely to at least get reprinted as a QCR already. That's what I want to see personally. All the dino cards. Miscellaneous source, QCR. Please, come on, let's make it happen. Upstar Goblin, iconic card in the game's history. Come on now, we all know how iconic this is. Another iconic card like, like Alistair here's Invocation. If we want to talk about a real iconic card, Monster Reborn. That's Yugi's card. It's a card that's been around for so long. It's a card that's been banned. Back up one. People just love this card in, in, like, in so many different ways. So Monster Reborn, of course, I think is iconic. The Runic cards. Now, whether it's Tip, whether it's Hugin, whether it's Fountain, I think the Runic cards could get, even though they are more recent, could get QCR printings. Dimension Fissure. Actually, I'm going to talk about Dimension Fissure, Necro Valley, and uh, where it is, Mac Macrocosmo over here. These floodgates over here, I definitely think could get QCR rarities. Necro Valley, of course, we know is more iconic than the other two, but the other two are really cool because if you think about it, we got Anti Spell as a, as a QCR, we got Skill Drain as a QCR. You could argue that with the other floodgates, you could also see there can only be one as a QCR, Rivalry as a QCR, Gozen as a QCR. We haven't seen those yet, and they are at one. So the thing is, 
you could argue, oh, they won't do it because they're at one, but they did it with anti spell, and anti spells at one, right? So it's very likely that they could do that as well. But the floodgates over here definitely think these could be see seen as QCRs. Bottomless trap hole is another one that's pretty iconic. I don't think they would do treacherous. I don't think they would do any of the other trap hole cards. I think bottom, maybe I don't think they would do regular trap hole. That'd be a little bit weird. Bottomless trap hole would be the one to do if they're end doing any of them. Destructive Daruma Cannon. We know how powerful this card has been made its way in. Like it, this, this card is very powerful and it's made its way into the meta, and I think it's really really cool. So I could see this card being a QCR. Mirror Force. Another nostalgic, iconic card. It just fits the exact theme, right? Nostalgia, iconic. If you guys looked at the tins, it's actually featuring Yugi and Kaiba. So I'm assuming we're going to see Yugi and Kaiba cards in there. So uh, that's really cool as well. Torrential Tribute, very, very uh, powerful as well. This card is a historic card in, in GOAT format, in Edison format, in so many different ways. Was this an Edison format? I can't remember off the top of my head, but I know it was in GOAT format. Anyways, regardless, this card is a very iconic Speaking of uh, Yugi and Kaiba, Crush Card Virus, very iconic Kaiba card. One card that I'm missing that's also on a Kaiba card, actually, now that I think about it, and it's not on here, Ring of Destruction. That card is a classic, iconic Kaiba card. It's also really good in past formats, so I could see that being a QCR as well in the tins, if they're doing um, you know, some of the nostalgic cards in the tins. If not in the tins, in the Bonanza as well. Starlight Road anime card. This is where it gets a little bit complicated. First things first, Dimension Prison. Again, another Edison card, iconic card. But uh, Trap Dust Shoot, Royal Oppression. These two cards are currently banned. And because they're banned, I'm not sure if they would reprint them in these sets because Konami typically doesn't like to reprint banned cards. But the one thing I will say with these two cards is that they do need reprints. We all know they need reprints for past formats. This might be the only way to do them uh, without, you know, causing a crazy discrepancy in the in the secondary market, in the meta. And um, it just makes a lot of sense in terms of what they want to reprint, right? So that's it kind of for the main deck stuff that I want to show you. I want to show you some extra deck stuff that I think could get reprinted as well. ABC Buster Dragon, another Kaiba card. Flaming Man, a little bit biased, but I want to see a Flaming Man QCR. We saw Neos. We can, we can see, come on, we can see Flaming Man, right? This card is crazy. Uh, Alti Hawk, this card is also iconic in the Ritual Beast stuff, so uh, it also got new support, right? So I could see this card, or any of the Ritual Beast cards, one of the older ones, right? Like I talked about with Tip, it could be Hugin, it could be Fountain. Trident Dragion was confirmed to be in the Megatins, so because it was confirmed to be in the Megatins, I'm leaning towards it being a QCR, I don't think they would just reprint it as, as like a super rare in the tins and call it a day, right? I think this is going to be a QCR. Uh, RDA, they did Stardust and they did Black Rose. I could definitely see them doing RDA as well because RDA did get support recently within the last year. Infinity, again, it's a support card for Cyber Dragon, which is a very iconic card. They did QCR Cyber Dragon in the last year's tins. I could see Infinity in this year's tins, right? Totally awesome as well. Very powerful, very iconic. F-Zero, well, this card actually... Kind of doesn't fit the iconic part, doesn't fit the nostalgic part, doesn't really even fit the meta part right now. However, it is a Utopia card, and Utopia, of course, we know was played by the Zexel's main uh, main character. I forget the Yuma. Was it Yuma? I think it was Yuma. And uh, this card hasn't had a reprint since its release. I think it was from Kiko, which is, I think, like two years ago at this point. And uh, I could see it getting a reprint as a QCR as well in uh, Bonanza specifically. Then I want to talk about Nightmare Griffin, Nightmare Phoenix, actually, as well as Nightmare Cerberus. I'm going to kind of group them all together. Nightmare Unicorn got a QCR. I could see these ones getting QCR. Specifically, I could see Phoenix and Griffin. However, if they're going to do both of those, they might as well do Cerberus as well, right? So these three is QCRs. Phantom Knights of Rusty Bardish. I talked about how Phantom Knights was meta at one point. That's why Armageddon Knight was so iconic. Uh, well, it's been iconic for multiple reasons, but this card could definitely see a QCR as well. Hida, but it's not just Hida. Hida, Asa, um, is it Arya, the water one? I can't remember. But all of the different, well, Wind is also the Wind one. I forgot about that one. But all of the different Charmers I could see coming as QCR. They do have Starlight Rare printings, but I could definitely see them coming as QCRs as well. Anima as well. Anima is just such a, I mean, it's the retrain of Relinquish, or, or a Thousand Eyes, actually, technically, right? Or it's Relinquish. It's not Thousand Eyes. It's regular Relinquish. Yeah. Regardless, it's a retrain of one of those iconic cards. We could definitely even see Thousand Eyes as a QCR in here as well. I think Anima is just makes a little bit more sense because it's a retrain of one of the older cards, and it's a meta-relevant card in today's format, right? So that's why I think it's really cool. Kagari, I know they're going to put a Sky Striker card in here. They did Rose and Ray in the last set. I could definitely see them doing some of the stri Striker cards here. Uh, they also have Engage already as a QCR, right? So Kagari makes sense, Shizuku, Hayate, one of those ones, right? Evil Twin. Now, Evil Twin, it could be Lila, it could be Kisakel, it could be any of the main deck ones. I think this card is going to, or this deck is going to see at least one QCR in here. Zelantis is another one that's been reprinted, I think, once. It's a couple years old now. Um, I could see this being as a QCR as well. So these kind of fit the, this is kind of what I mean when I was talking about, like it fits the nostalgia factor, but fits the meta factor. Of course, this card is not nostalgic at all as Zulantis, right? But they have to be printing some cards that are recent. They can't be all printing just nostalgic cards because like 
there wasn't that many cards a long time ago, right? Like, if you're just printing gold format stuff, you're not printing every card that's been released from, like, LOB to, like, MRD. That'd be kind of weird, right? So, I think these make a little bit of sense. Same thing with Shurig. They did do uh, Tribal Gate Revolt in Rarity Collection 1, so I could see Shurig in this one. Uh, Minerva as well, iconic card, prize card. Uh, Light Sworn has been an iconic deck as well. I could see Judgment Dragon, not just Minerva, but I could see Judgment Dragon as a QCR. I could see, you know, any of the Light Sworn cards come as QCR. Uh, Baguska, again, another iconic Exceed Monster QCR. This one and this one I actually want to talk about. So Prime Photon and Shining Neo Swingman. These are two cover cards for two sets uh, that are both getting reprinted in this uh, in the, in this uh, Megaton specifically. So I think for the Megatons, I could definitely see these two being QCRs because they didn't get QCR rarities in their original set. So I could definitely see these ones being QCRs in the newer sets, right? And then uh, if we're going to keep going, Bionic, of course, iconic in Edison format, iconic in so many different ways. Excel Synchro Stardust, this is kind of like a Stardust card, even though it's not specific specifically Stardust it's like well also Stardust did already have a QCR but even though it's not specifically Stardust it's like a Stardust support card which is kind of nostalgic it kind of fits in that factor so I could see this getting a QCR Chaos Angel this one is newer it just got an ulti recently but maybe they did it with Diviner they gave Diviner an ulti and a QCR back-to-back -back sets so I think they could do this as a QCR as well uh, Blazar Dragon again this is another spin-off of the Stardust Dragon so whether it be Excel Synchron whether it be Blazar whether it be I don't think they'll do Quasar I don't think they'll do Quasar I think Blazar would be the right way to play do it I think personally at least but yeah Blazar I can see definitely getting a QCR it's meta relevant in today's format as well Winda we all know how iconic Winda is in the past and it's a it's a card that definitely I think could see uh, play in uh, as a QCR right Albion as well. Albion is a card that, uh, you know, branded, they keep getting support. They non-stop, they keep getting support. And not only do they get support, they also get max rarity of all their cards. Mirror Jade as a QCR. We have uh, Lubelion as a QCR. We have a lot of the main deck cards as QCRs and, and or Starlight Rares. So I could definitely see Albion being a QCR. And last but not least, the card that I hate on this list the most, Thunder Dragon Colossus. Keep this card away from me, man. I, I hate this card. But it's an iconic card. Whether it's Colossus, whether it's some of the other Thunder Dragon card names, I can see this card being a QCR rarity. So that's it. I just went through 90 cards. I know this video is a little bit longer, but I just went through 90 cards that I think could definitely be seen as QCR rarities. These cards are iconic. These cards are nostalgic. These cards are meta relevant. They're getting new supports and cards like Lightning, Darkness Dragon, Ancient Gear, Ubel, all of those different things. And I could definitely see this list being QCRs. And if you guys think I missed anything, let me know in the comment section down below and if you guys disagree with any of my choices leave the kashira stuff alone i just want those to be qcrs i know those technically don't fit the description but let's let's make it happen let's make it happen but if you guys disagree with anything let me know in the comment section down below as well but these cards i'm very confident are going to be qcrs in the upcoming sets so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy that is my take on what i think is going to be coming out as qcr rarities in the upcoming sets the megatons as well as the quarter century bonanza now of course there's 250 different qcrs that are going to be printed and i'm only covering 90 of them here so what do you guys think is going to be printed as a qcr that i didn't cover there's probably going to be a lot of niche stuff but i really wanted to bring up all of the meta relevant stuff the time wizard relevant stuff because if you are trying to build a meta deck and max out a meta deck this is kind of what you should use as a guide now of course i can't guarantee anything but i'm very certain these cards that i'm showing you guys today are probably going to be qcrs in the upcoming sets now if you guys enjoyed today's video make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu Gi Oh content just like this one we upload pretty much every single day here on the channel so if you guys want to subscribe support the channel and enjoy more content make sure to subscribe yeah because if you guys subscribe you guys are going to get more content yeah you guys are going to see all this stuff all right cool let me know again what you guys want to see in these sets what you guys think is going to happen but what you guys want to see happen that might not necessarily happen i appreciate every single one of you thank you guys all for watching and with that spanko signing out peace